So as a YouTuber myself, I know how hard it may be when you're first starting out acquiring the skill set needed in order to achieve success on the platform. And the main factor that plays into that, video editing. Video editing can be super tedious and a long process to actually learn when you first start out making videos, but I'm here to make sure that that process goes by a lot smoother versus what it would be like if you had absolutely no help at all and just had to start from the ground up. As someone who's edited my own YouTube videos for the last four years, one could assume that I kind of know what I'm talking about. So that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in this video. I'm going to be teaching you from start to finish how you could edit your very own YouTube videos, walking you guys through my own process and how I edit my own content. And the best part about this though, everything is free. That's right. I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve. It's a 100% free software that you can download literally right now and it won't cost you anything. But if you guys do enjoy, you learn something, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. With all that being said, let's get right into the video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to boot up DaVinci Resolve and we're going to create a new project called Sample YouTube video or something along the lines of that so we're just going to go to our edit tab here now these are the main tabs in davinci we're basically just going to be using the edit tab a bit of the fusion tab and then the deliver tab finally to render out our video starting off we're going to go up here to file we're going to go to project settings go to our timeline frame rate changes to 60 we can leave this on the default resolution now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to drag in whatever footage we want to edit so i got some long form footage here that i'm just going to drag in this video and let's imagine that's our intro which it is and then this is going to be the body of our video these are going to be the two sections that we're going to be focusing on. I'm going to be talking about the intro and then I'm going to be talking about the body of the video. Starting off, we can see that we have this in our media pool. And if we drag this into our timeline, we can see this is just the way it is. So like we can see, DaVinci Resolve allows us to see the audio waveforms, which is super useful when it comes to our first step, which is going to be cut. Now we can see right here, these gaps, we want to get rid of them because it will cause for break in speech and we don't really want that. And chances are I had an error when speaking between these lines. So we're going to get rid of that. So right here, we can see this is the main part of speech right here here and what we're going to do is we're going to start cutting it up so to cut we're going to just use the blade tool right here and we're going to click on wherever we want to make a cut so before and after let's say this is the usable part that we want to use we want to get rid of this so we're just going to click press delete and then we can just drag this over to the beginning we can drag this over here too now shortcut to do this if you want to just delete it so press on your blade tool click on the layer and i'll press shift and delete and that just brings it over automatically that's another way you can do it so let's imagine this is our intro and let's say our intro spans from here to here and we got to cut out the gap so the way that this would look like we just literally come here to either side of us speaking we'd go like this and then we'd select everything and delete it. and then what we could do is we could literally just bring this all together and that would pretty much be that that's our intro fully cut up now what we're going to do is we're going to cut out all the air so we can see this is an error right here we're going to bring this over now the next step when it comes to cutting is j cut so i'm going to quickly show you how to do this so all you got to do is literally just overlap the ends and starts like this and that's pretty much that it's super simple and it increases the flow so we go from having let's say this is it originally we can see that there's that little small gap at the end that kind of takes away from your video so if we overlay it that's kind of what it sounds like it sounds a lot more fast paced it sounds smoother it sounds better in my opinion and that's just how you do that now from there what i normally do is i will pre-comp this so i'll right click on this go to compound clip and just like that it's all in one layer now for the rest of the intro what i do is i factor in multiple effects as well as sub and then i'll move on to the body so starting off the first effect i use is a smooth zoom all throughout so at the beginning we can see this is to actually adjust if you guys don't have your inspector here click on inspector up here starting off we'll click on the layer we'll go to zoom at the beginning keyframe this out one go to the end and then we're going to keyframe it at something like 1.1 1 .1. and we can see the entire time it's going to zoom all the way through slowly Find that slow zooms are the best effect that you can actually add in intro now moving on to subtitles let me quickly show you how to do that you're just going to go down here to your titles this is in your effects library drag this in and we're going to pick a decent subtitle font i highly recommend using akira expanded that's what i use in all my videos and what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down here davinci resolve actually allows us for you us to use built-in drop shadow which is kind of cool we can change our color to literally whatever so imagine we want yellow the, subtitles we're just going to change it to yellow so the first line is i think it's fair to say so we're going to bring that blade tool out again by pressing b and so i think it's fair and so i think it's fair to say that and we can see that that that's literally how you do subtitles you just repeat this all the way throughout keep on you know changing it when different words are spoken and that's how you do subtitles now moving on from there color correction is the most important thing there's nothing worse than having footage that isn't recorded in the right color properties that you want it to be and then it just looks kind of bland so we can see this is super gray and i don't really like the way that this looks so we're going to go here to the color tab we're going to change the saturation we could adjust all these color boost temperature contrast hue mainly saturation is the most important thing we're going to change this to 70. we can see 
Literally look at the difference. It looks like I actually have skin and I'm not pale. So that's a good thing. Um, so we can see that is that. Now moving on to the process of the body of the video itself. So we'll drag in the body footage. Just like the intro, our first step is going to be cutting. So we're going to literally come through with our blade tool. We're going to cut out absolutely anything that we don't want in our video. So just come through and do like a rough cut. And then what you'll do is you'll like get rid of all of the mistakes. So imagine you just got these mistakes here. Click, delete, click, delete, click, delete. And then you can literally just click. And then another tip that I have in DaVinci, if you click in the blank space and press delete, it actually brings the footage over. Another tip that I have for DaVinci, if you... Another tip that I have for DaVinci is that if you click in the blank space, just click delete, it'll move the footage over automatically. Now literally all that's left to do from there is do the J cuts that you actually did in your intro. So just overlaying. And just like the intro, we're gonna pre-comp this. So we're gonna go like this and you could just right click, go to compound clip and make that pre-comp. Now from there, we're also gonna do color correction like we did before. We're gonna change the saturation to like 65 or 70. So I'm gonna do 70, I think this one. Yeah, I did 70 on this one too. So that's pretty much that. Now from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to do transition. So I actually have presets in the description you guys can download for 100 free, but we're just gonna drag an adjustment clip over here and we're gonna go into our fusion tab. So from there, download the transition presets that I have in the description, go into DaVinci, wherever you saved it to. We're just gonna drag that in right here and we're gonna bring up our keyframe menu in the top right here. Press this little arrow thing we can see the keyframes are here. We got to drag them over to the left. Press the arrow thing so we can see better. Select them. Bring them to the right. And we can see we got the four keyframes here. And the most important keyframe is that third keyframe. So we're just going to come over to that third keyframe. Make sure we're on it. And then we're going to add a marker on that keyframe. We're going to line it up with the separation point. And literally, just like that, you have a transition. So that's, imagine that's the intro going into the body of the video. That's how you do it. Now that. next, we got to add our music. That's another super important aspect. So we're just going to literally come over here to wherever we have the music we want to use and for example i'm just gonna use this one here and we can just drag that in and lower the volume to like negative 25 decibels come up here also and edit it to like negative 25 and just like that you have your fully edited youtube video you're ready to go to the deliver tab and i'll just quickly show you guys my personal render setting so i'll normally name the file whatever i'll go to browse I'll pick my YouTube uh, video folder, and then I'll change my bitrate to 100,000 kilobytes per second, add to render queue, start rendering it, and that's literally how you do that. But if you guys did learn something and you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, check out all the free presets in the description like I mentioned before. Let me know down below if you guys have any questions as well as DM me on Twitter if you guys need help with anything. I'm actively helping you guys with whatever issues you may have in terms of DaVinci Resolve, Adobe, Premiere, whatever. Just shoot me a DM over there. That link will be in the description as well, but I hope you guys did enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.